Maybe I should have thought this through before I started making the video. Hello everybody. So today I just, I wasn't going to film a video but then I decided to film obviously. So don't mind Ben, he's just hanging out here with me. I'll show you. Right Ben? Say hello. Hello little gap baby. I wanted to do a quick video on things that you don't need as a new mom with a baby because there's so much stuff out there that people want to have for the new baby or need for the new baby and it's just not all necessary. Hold on. So number one, you do not need a formula machine. It takes, yes it's handy especially for late night feeds which I don't really know because I didn't have late night feeds of formula. Bren was breastfed in the middle of the night but I would be, like I would never spend that much money on one of those formula makers. It's like a coffee maker I guess but it, if you don't know what it is it's like a coffee maker but for formula. You put all your formula in and it does its thing and it probably is really awesome to have but it's not a must so scratch that off your list next thing would be a bassinet you don't need a bassinet if you want your child to sleep with you what I did is I bought a playpen that had the bassinet attachment on it and it serves its purpose for your newborn right beside you in the bed and you have your playpen or play yard for later when your child's bigger and you need to go places it's like a one-stop shop you have your playpen and your bassinet all in one and you can even get some with a change table ours had a change table and like little pockets on the side so that's great you don't need little cute baby clothes when you're having a newborn you do not need that all you need honestly is little sleepers little PJs um, and socks for them. You don't need much else. And bibs, because little babies like to spit up. My little seven month old still spits up everywhere. And now he eats food, so he spits up food. It's like throw up. It's not spit up anymore, it's throw up. So lots and lots and lots of bibs. Oh yeah, we're doing a what not to eat. I mean not. What you don't need. We're doing a what you don't need video, not what you do need. So what don't you need? Oh yeah, the little baby mittens that you buy. They're useless. They don't stay on the baby unless your baby is 14 pounds. It will not stay on your baby. Just use socks. That's all I did. It kind of looks silly, but it works. It does the trick. And if you're like me, I didn't want to cut his nails. What I did is I tried to rip them off. With I bit his nails off basically, but I find it just doesn't do anything. Their nails are still sharp and they still scratch their face off. So uh, for the most part, he had socks on his hands and his feet. Personally, I don't really think you need a high chair. Yes, you need some sort of chair, but you don't need a big, huge high chair, especially with a newborn, obviously, because your baby's not eating anything yet. But we have a bumbo and a high chair. We use the bumbo way more than the high chair. The high chair is just so inconvenient and the bumbo now, it comes with a tray that you can attach to it which is perfect and it's just really all you need. Or they have those chairs that clip on to the table. I'll link everything down below that I'm talking about. There's those, those high chairs that clip on to the table. I want one of those and they're even perfect if you go somewhere to eat you don't need to use their high chair just bring your own high chair clamp it to the table what else don't you need a change table you don't need a change table just get this is what we did we got a second hand um what is that called we got a second hand dresser and we refinished it, we got new knobs for it, and we just put a change pad right on top of the dresser. I don't even know why they sell change tables anymore. You don't need a change table. People say, oh, but the compartments in it, and the drawers, and this and that. A dresser has lots of drawers. 
the baby does not need six drawers for their clothes. So one drawer for diapers, one drawer for socks, bibs, and shoes, one drawer for sleepers, like pajamas, sleepers. You get my drift. You don't need a change table and a dresser. It's just ridiculous in my mind. The other thing you don't need with a baby is a baby bullet. Why would you get a baby bullet? Seriously, I use an immersion blender. It works just fine. I do wish I had like a bigger blender or a food processor, but I'm not going to spend the money on it. My immersion blender does just like perfectly fine if you want to make your own baby food, that is. But don't get a don't get a baby bullet. There's no need. You can get little containers. I use ice cube trays to store them in the freezer. Like it works just fine. So anyways guys, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this helps because there's a lot of baby stuff out there that you don't need to buy. So stay tuned for my next video. Please subscribe so you don't miss anything and thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks, bye. For the most part, he had socks on his hands and his feet. And you just threw your soother, thanks. hand is a soother now because he lost his soother child